Shalom, Haverim. We are reading this week, Parashat Tetzaveh. And besides that is Shabbat Zahor, the Shabbat that we read before Purim, in which we remember what Amalek did for us. And as we speak about Parashat Tetzaveh, we understand and we ask ourselves, why do we have so many details about the building of the tabernacle and the garments of the high priests? Why the high priest needs this a fold in which he will inscribe all the gems with the names of the tribes of the people of Israel? And the rabbis through many generations, especially in the Middle Ages, understood that the importance of this parasha is that the high priest, this Rodef Shalom, this person who is going to pursue peace among the people of Israel, have to gather everybody to be part of the whole community. Only when we bring all of us together, we can build a sanctuary in which God can dwell among us. So as we approach this Shabbat, and we prepare ourselves for Shabbat, let's remember that in this Torah portion, when the high priest dresses up in his ritual garments, he includes everybody under this big tent, and he inaugurates the temple with the menorah, bringing light into our lives with the divine presence. May all be able to enjoy Shabbat, a Shabbat Shalom, a Shabbat of peace, a Shabbat of memories, a Shabbat Zachor.